Alright, hi everyone. My name is Nemheel and welcome back to the council. Man, am I late to the party. Um, I had actually no idea that it came out because I've been so incredibly busy. So, <laughs> let's just get back into it, I guess. Uh, episode 3? I think I do continue. Yeah. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Hmm. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough, the woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What? Was both of the Hillsborough sisters there? Or maybe this was, that was just a recap of what's happened. Uh, okay, I always forget what we have. Can I check my skills? I think I can, yeah. So, I, well, we have science. I think we have everything. Yeah. We have agility. Yeah. So let's just equip something, I guess. Diversion, linguistics, etiquette, etiquette. Diversion, erudition. Let me check one more time. Erudition, did we? No, no way. Yep, just take anything. I'm gonna take actually occultism. Didn't I see that somewhere? There we go. And uh erudition. I'm way high in etiquette. Like really high. Level two. Yeah, linguistics. Diversion. I don't know. Let's start the quest. Exciting. Yeah, yeah, this is the real the real thing that's happening. Crypt entrance. Ripples. Wow. Come on. Don't move. Oh, that's Oh, that's right. Wait, I don't So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my god, Mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, Mother! Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. What? You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He What's obeys going on? his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? What the... Um... Cures negative alterations. Let's remove this. Uh, Lord Mortimer wrote to me. I'm here for... I'm here to save her. Who? Remind her about the quest of the book. Let's do that. Let's remind her about the book. Remember? Alazif? I was sure. Where's the book, Mother? So that's what you want. Well, you will never find it. Damn. Emily died for that. What's got into her? You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. The I fuck? don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother? It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are. What was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind logical. And open. And open. You knew it. Oof. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather. Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, 
I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? Von uh, Borchert. I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borchert. My yeah. God, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. <laughs> Otherwise, all this would be I'm for so nothing. I'm so glad I remember that. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No, I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the- No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. What the hell? Have you spoken to him? Oh shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Is she afraid of what he might have said about Adams? Mother, I don't know what you're imagining, but don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louis! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. What's Very your worry? Well. Logical and open, Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Finding finding my mother with one hand less. Elizabeth's murder having visions. Like finding out. Uh, I want to know about the visions. Like me having visions, for example? I knew it. It started. Oh, Hell, Louis, I just wish I could. Yes, it's happened to me. Like when I was a boy, I find myself in someone else's body for the space of a dream. Have you ever dreamed of a different place to the one where you were sleeping without being able to explain it? No. But mother, don't worry. I'm not losing my mind. Everything is fine. You used to give me a concoction to calm me down when I was little. So, just make some for me once we get back home. Migraines? Loss of consciousness? Loss of control? No, no, rest assured. All is well. I promise you. What else? All right, um... I need to do this. Do you want to tell me about your relationship with Elizabeth Adams? Please, work. Louis, I don't know what you found out, but just know that I did everything I could to help her. I believe you. Or wait. She did some pretty bad stuff, but she's my mother. I'm going to believe her. I'm sure you did, mother. I'm, yeah. I'm not judging you. You know, what she had to put up with was slowly gnawing away at her. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A God conference, damn, so Louis. now she's convinced? I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. That was Perfect. weird. The conference will be able to begin. Um, what? Indeed. It shouldn't be long and- Let me finish. We haven't time. You will attend this conference, and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Does she know about the project? Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. Fuck. We are in the lion's den. Come on. Uh, what? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I hate this. Mortimer, Holm, their guests. Watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but- Louis! They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! What? What is she talking about? Nothing is impossible for God them. damn it. They are I'm... capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. Really? But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, 
after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. What the hell is going on? One more thing, mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. I have no idea what's going on, like seriously. All right, now I'm here. Okay, so, um, hi everyone. <laughs> uh, it was super weird that she was so, so, um, sure that it was not me. And then after four questions, she was like back to normal. Normal. Um. Yeah, weird. I, I don't. I don't follow this at all now. But let's attend the conference and see what happens. I guess. Hmm. Where is it? Is it here? Yep. What? Oh, stuff. Devil's Thorn, of course. Hi. Mr. Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. I will. All right. Wow. What is going to happen? I have suspected it. Let's talk to everyone before we talk to Mortimer. My son. Glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Wow. Feeling all right, Louis? He sounds you sounds creepy. You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. Oh, but I think we're gonna make him wait. So I want to talk to everyone. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden. But Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. Yeah, yeah. You say it as if you were afraid of him. What's going on between them two? Or you two? I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The right. siren song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. All right. For me, it's too late now, but you, you still have a choice. So now we Don't finally know. Don't respond to his call, sir. Yeah, I won't. Now we finally know what, what's uh, Peru's deal, or what Peru's deal is. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin? That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Are you quite sure, sir? I will. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. Okay, we seem to have two keys for this. Uh, use the right key. Nice. Royal jelly. There we go. We filled up some points. Okay, so we're supposed to talk. What is this? Golden elixir. 
Nice. I'll keep it for later. Let's talk to George Washington. Ah, Louis, oh, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank, thank you, you kindly. But what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's right. important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Okay. What's this conf... well, how does a conference work? In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's okay. up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself gotcha. are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. All it can right. take years. Got it. So, uh, more questions. Have you been operating for long? Operating what? How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Okay. Do you meet often? Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Mm, what major decisions have you already orchestrated? Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't no invited, shit, man. but as All far right. as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Goddamn, okay. What is this conference about? Let's go. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis. I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Oh, spaced out there. Uh, our desire is to steer the destiny of our... Uh, no good, no good. No. All right, um, I have no more questions. Louis, let me keep you a moment. Here he comes. Yep. I would like Cue to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. Nope. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. What's that got to do with me? Because I'm French? But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand. Two democracies illuminating the world. <sighs> okay. Uh, where does this... Uh, where does his project extend? Lord Mortimer, 
I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the West to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site. And if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, huh. Spain rarely only cares about its colonies okay, in South America. Wow. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We will have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You did know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? I don't think so. My friends, I propose we get started. Wow, um, this is uh, very political. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor I wonder is what, ours, my what's, he, As per what's his custom, plan? Here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I Richet. hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, wow. Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Well, um, uh, put Godoy in his place, given not without, uh, thank them for their welcome. Let's thank be you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Yep. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer. I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. <sighs> when we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? 
What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. Yeah, let's hear I it. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. They're not savages? Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. <sighs> they are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. The filthy swine? I don't know. Challenge him? What? I don't know what this means. Let's... The filthy... Which was the roots? Let's see. It obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not imagine I have anything against the American Indians or the Blacks. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of I things, not Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man, it might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. What was Colonization that Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Did you see that? Uh, excuse me. If you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? I would protect you from the Americans. <laughs> I will protect you from the British. Whoa. Um. No, from the British. We are neighbors, Duke uh, Manuel. I think. Remember, your main rival in Europe is more Damn likely it. to be England, who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to France and make her a prime ally. Come, Louis. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, the omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing hmm. everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. All right, let's see. This is the only thing I can val- Ugh. Oof, got it. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? France will protect, uh, does not need to seek the Pope's opinion. Think of Mortimer, think of Mortimer, yeah, let's do that. On the maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France, and if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the order, will be used for that purpose. All the right. noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. Hmm. Cla uh, let's try this. Well, I think that the French army will enter Italy, and that the Vatican will do whatever France demands of it, if the Vatican wants to retain its place. You are joking, I hope. I Lord Mortimer, I did not come here to listen to such nonsense. What makes you think that, Monsieur de Richet? Well, Monsieur Bonaparte, here present, has ordered a large number of cannons, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were to be used to keep Italy under control. Come, sir. What a strange idea. I have enough on my plate with issues in Corsica. If you say so. You see, you But are... Corsica is not where the cannons are to be delivered, is it? Aye, but... Oh, uh, shit. Louis, you are quick-witted. I like you. You seem to be overlooking something, Monsieur les Français. I also have backers who would be only too pleased to demonstrate the full extent of their fervor by defending the Vatican. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. What? I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, All my right. lord, wow, this is... I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher ein, Emily. Ni preußen wird diese feiern Barung akzeptieren. Can I listen to that? Yes, thank you. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. <laughs> Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. All right, we can do something here. Psychology, all right, let's do it. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. What is oh, going on? Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! Yeah. That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Hmm. Are you coming wow. with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory, I think Louis would rather stay. Oh, Wouldn't shit. you, Louis? I would like to get some more information, maybe, but I'm not on Mortimer's side. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go with home. At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. I might have messed that up. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, He'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I'm not going to say anything. We shall shortly find out, so let's take the lead. What do you mean by that? His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. 
He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregor? God damn. What do you think? That they Shit's hold a mass? Down. They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. Uh, and... You know what? I think I'm gonna keep quiet. Leave I... me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Yeah, I just Let's want to. Let's meet info. early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis, I'd like to see you a moment, please. Okay. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. Am I really the right person for this? Do you really think that I'll be able to convince him? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have total faith in you. He likes you, and thus he won't see you coming. You must be careful, though. If he senses that you are trying to manipulate him, he'll dig in his heels. Louis, use every means at your disposal. If Washington drops Mortimer, his defeat will be complete. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Okay. Wow. Um, so this... This, uh, this episode, um, took a little longer, uh, because it was so much info to take in. Uh, so yeah, I'm not quite, uh, how do you say, I, I don't really know what's going on. It's so much politics, but I'm going with my gut feeling and with what my mother told me. And that was not to accept Mortimer. Uh, uh, proposition or and she uh, she also told me to sabotage his plans and Peru to also told me not to accept his call so um yeah that's what kind of what I'm, what I'm going with but it's super weird I guess I, I, I guess I'll just have to play the game um, to find out and to build an, a stronger opinion. And I'm sorry for being late on this. I know that there's so many Let's Plays of this already. And that's just because I've been incredibly busy. And I did not even uh, realize that this uh, episode 3 has, had come out. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, we'll play this now. I think I'm going to put uh, Fallout 2 on hold for now. So, it's going to be uh, Metro and uh, the Council until this episode is done. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, do consider subscribing if you want more of this kind of content, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.